Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Lumion, uh, which is a rendering engine to synchronize with your AutoCAD model. Now if you are an AutoCAD user and you are looking to get into the rendering world, then this uh, might be a very helpful video for you. So if it's your first time joining the channel, thank you for uh, visiting. If you want to get better with AutoCAD architecture, then guess what? You are at the right place. I do hope that you will consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this one. Everybody else, you know what to do already. Hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and big up on yourself. Let's get into the video. All right, so for those of you who don't know what Lumion is, Lumion is a rendering engine software that promises to deliver photorealistic rendering images and videos of your model. So as you can see some examples of what Lumion is capable of, uh, these are from the official Lumion website. You can also see an example of what I was able to do using Lumion in AutoCAD architecture in just one hour of using the software for the first time. So uh, I'm, I'm a complete novice at this, <laughs> still learning to navigate the software. Uh, but, you know, I was able to pull something off that looks really, really nice. And so I would encourage you guys to give it a try on your project. As you can tell, I am very impressed with how this turned out so far. Now, bear in mind that this is not the cheapest option out there. In fact, there are some free options out there. But uh, this one does offer a wide variety of tools and mainly and most importantly, it integrates very well with AutoCAD. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, uh, but I think Lumion is probably the only software out there, uh, rendering software that integrates with AutoCAD the way it does. And uh, I really wish more uh, developers and software companies would do something for AutoCAD. Anyways, this video today is to walk you all through the process of setting up Lumion on your AutoCAD program and also on your computer. All right, guys, so let's talk about system requirements. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you have the minimum requirements to run this software because you definitely don't want to burn your computer into the ground. Uh, so check out the page that says uh, system requirements before you start. Uh, fortunately, my PC is a little bit above the minimum requirements, so I was able to get uh, some decent images out of it. All right. So for those of you who are interested in knowing what my uh, PC uh, specs are, I'm gonna drop uh, I'm gonna drop a link in the description or something in the description that you guys can follow to see what I have in my PC. All right. Now, the first thing you guys want to do, of course, is to go over to the Autodesk website, uh, the App Store, and we're going to download a plugin that will show up in our AutoCAD software. So type Lumion and you should see some available options. We're going to choose the Autodesk AutoCAD version and click on that and then you're going to download it. Now, of course, you may have to log in or create a new account to download the, the plugin. Hit the next button, download the software. I have already downloaded it, so uh, I'm not going to do that again. And then the next thing you want to do is to go back over to the Lumion uh, website and we're going to go to any one of these options. All right. If you choose to purchase the software, then you would choose the buy option. But since we're going to be running the trial version, you can go here, click on that button and fill in the information here and hit that button to get your software. This will send an email to you that looks like this. All you got to do is just click on this button and it will take you back to the website where you may need to log in and then you will have this option here. Let's click on that. And this is where you'd come to download it and install it. And so once you download those two software, they will look something like this. Uh, this is the plugin and this is the Lumion trial software and uh, once you install the uh, the plugin it will look like this in your AutoCAD software and once you install Lumion it will look like this on your computer all right so uh, 
once you have those two installed then we are ready to go all right everybody so now that we have everything installed and ready to go it's time to have some fun so the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you have your model prepared and ready to go and so as you can see on my screen i have this guard house that i have featured on the channel before in fact i'm going to drop a link in the description to where you can download this model if you want something to practice with but yeah i have this model here and i have uh you know get it to a good spot to where i think we can start to do some rendering and see what uh, this looks like all right and so if you notice i used the autocad architecture uh, tools to create this building you know so we have the wall uh, the wall tools all of these tools here on this um uh, palette here and so we have walls we have roof you know doors and stuff like that so that's the first thing you want to do the second thing is to assign material throughout your autocad model so if i were to put this in the realistic mode you can see that uh, some material has already been applied to our model and so you can see like the roof here has a, a nice little roofing pattern same thing with the wall um, these material came default with the the component so when i chose to draw this wall it came with that material applied to it there are times when you will have to go into that um, into that component and apply a particular material to the object um, and that's important guys because if it is that this door for instance and this floor slab has the same material in autocad when we bring it over to lumion um, we will have problems because lumion will try to apply the same material whichever material you are trying to apply it will apply that material to both objects if you have the same material in autocad i hope i'm explaining myself well there so you want to make sure that uh, every object that needs to be on a separate material is being done in autocad all right how do you change material in autocad is your question if you click on a door or any component for that matter and you go to edit style there's a material tab at the top here and that in this uh, drop down here you will see a list of components all right a list of parts that actually make up that uh that object so you can see that we have frame uh, stop panel glass mountains and over on this side here you will see all the different uh, materials that are applied to each part of that door so as you can see the frame has this metal in fact the frame all of these three parts have the same material applied you can click on this drop down and change that material if you want and so we have a nice little list here to choose from um, of course the glass is on a separate material and so we have that there you can do this for any one of these objects same thing for the wall if we should go in uh, if we should go into the wall here you can see that all of these are on separate material and that's important especially for the wall because usually we would want the outside of the wall to have a different material from what is on the inside so as you can see here we have concrete blocks on the outside while we have gypsum on the inside and if we go back into this wall you can see that we have separate materials applied to each uh, part of that wall okay and so these came in automatically when i chose uh, my wall style here as you can see we have a bunch of uh, wall styles with multiple uh, parts uh, components so you can check that out same thing with your windows Be pretty much everything guys um you notice i have a floor slab and i also have another little slab in here for a floor finish and i wanted to have this so that i can apply in lumion a separate material to the floor inside than what i have on the outside okay once you have your materials uh, in check the next thing to do is to put your model in a perspective view all right so let's do that by clicking on this uh, drop down here and go to perspective view the reason why we put our model in a perspective view is because lumion uh, also works from a perspective view 
and Lumion has the ability to mimic the the movement of our AutoCAD camera movement like this. And so it can only mimic this movement when we're in the perspective view. There are times when you don't need it to mimic and so you can always go back to you know your top view your parallel view whatever the case may be but i just wanted to show you guys how this uh, all works so once you're in perspective view then it's time to go over to the lumion tab right over here and this is what that looks like and so let's go through these buttons here we have the help button of course if you want to learn something more about the, the software we have the start live sync we have the stop live sync we have the start camera synchronization, which we were talking about just now. And we have this little status light that um, illuminates when everything is active. We have the settings button and we also have this uh, export button, which I've never used. I don't know what it is used for. If any one of you know what that is for, then I would you know, appreciate you helping us out in the comment section below. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to settings and just to make sure that all of these are checked, hit OK. And then, of course, we're going to hit the play button or the it looks like a play button. Well, let's hit that button and then it's going to say to us, uh, we do not have Lumion running. So what do you want to do? Do you want to start it? We're going to say yes. And so as you can see, Lumion has started on my second screen and uh, I'm going to try my best to show you guys both screens at the same time. Okay, so there we are. Uh, this is our model in Lumion. Uh, I'm not going to touch it yet. I'm going to just go over to my AutoCAD and start to rotate this. And then you'll see that my Lumion screen is now mimicking the, the movement of my AutoCAD camera. Okay, so whatever I do here is being copied over. Also, if we make changes to our model here, it will be seen immediately in Lumion. So for instance, if I were to close these windows, uh, let's do that right now. You can see that it did the same thing in, uh, in Lumion. All right, let's open it back up to 50% like that. All right, so even if we decide to change the size of something, um, let's turn around to this side of the building and we decide to change the size of this window to uh, 750, it does immediately in Lumion. All right, so this is the wonderful thing with Lumion integrated directly into AutoCAD. Um, uh, and I w really wish other software would take on this challenge. Um, you know, we, we, we want more. Anyways, um, so if you want to stop your camera from syncing, uh, we can just click on this camera button right here and that would allow us to now do whatever we want to this model in AutoCAD without affecting our Lumion uh, model in terms of the camera view. But the model is still live. So if I decide to move this wall out a little bit more, it's going to do that in, uh, in Lumion as you can see over there. And so whatever you do is still being live captured in Lumion. We just happen to turn off the camera synchronization and we can turn this back on at any time uh, throughout our workflow. Go over to Lumion and focus a little bit more over here. I'm going to actually turn off the camera synchronization and kind of focus in on Lumion here. And so Lumion has a whole new navigation system <laughs> to it and so it's a whole new learning curve and sometimes i get confused pressing the wrong button to move around and stuff like that so now that we have our model in lumion we can now take full advantage of everything that lumion has to offer uh, while still maintaining a live model in autocad so even when we make all the changes in lumion that we want we can still go back over to autocad and make changes to our model and it would be updated in Lumion uh, live. Uh, so that's that's really cool. As you can see, the model is in the middle of nowhere. So uh, I need to create a context or an environment for this model. And I am a complete novice at this, guys. So 
I'm going to try my best to do something and I'll show you guys what that looks like towards the end of this video. And I'll also create some renders for you guys to see what we can achieve through Lumion and AutoCAD. All right, guys, so this is where I'm at so far. As you can tell, uh, I'm think, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. So uh, I brought in this model here, this wall and stuff. I drew this up in SketchUp. And so I was able to bring this in and have both SketchUp and AutoCAD into, into one model here. And so I can still make changes to my AutoCAD model even while I am uh, making changes so for instance i was able to increase the depth of this uh footing here over in autocad all right so what i'm gonna do here start to add some trees and stuff now see what i can do where that is concerned Okay guys, so this is where I'm going to stop for today. As you can see, I have added a bunch of stuff in here, uh, including a SketchUp model with walls and a road to, to kind of set the tone first. And then I used what assets were available in the trial version of Lumion to do the rest of the scene here. Here are some other renderings that I did. So let me know how I did in the comment section below. And if you think I did a good job, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, if you think I could have done better, <laughs> let me know where I can improve in the comment section below. All right. Uh, anyways, before I end this video, I want to send a shout out to the Patreons on my Patreon page. Uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.